Hi, we're Jack and Gab, an American couple living out our dream of traveling the world. We're currently traveling through the Baltics, and this week we find ourselves in Klaipeda, a charming Lithuanian city on the coast of the Baltic Sea. Autumn is quickly falling here, which means cold weather and a lot of rain. But that didn't stop us from exploring this beautiful and historic city. Hey guys, and welcome to Klaipeda, Lithuania. We got in yesterday after a train ride in, and then this morning we went to go explore, and we were rained on within like five minutes of leaving the Airbnb, but now the weather has changed, and we have a beautiful sunny day to be exploring Klaipeda. It is gorgeous out, and we're gonna be starting here in Old Town, which is a really pretty neighborhood. Our Airbnb is right in the middle of it, which makes it super nice. Quick fun fact for you guys about the Old Town here is that a lot of the architecture is not actually Lithuanian like you might think, it's actually German, because up until World War One, this town Town was part of the Prussian Empire and I think it's also been occupied by Scandinavian countries so some of the architecture also has a Scandinavian influence. Anyways we're here now so we're gonna go explore. Alright guys, our first stop is Theater Square here in the Old Town part of Klaipeda. It has this old theater here and a beautiful fountain with a little emblem plaque to Simon Dock. Today it's a little cold out, it is October after all, so tourist season is kind of come and gone, but there's still a few vendors out with their tents selling stuff and just kind of a charming little area to be. Not a whole lot going on today, but it's still nice. I want to mention before we forget, one of the best things to do here in Klaipeda is visit the Koronian Spit, which is a teeny tiny strip of land that kind of connects part of Russia to Klaipeda. And so we're not gonna be doing that in this video because we're gonna spend an entire day exploring it and we'll do, huh, I have hair in my mouth, a separate video of that. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and you can check us out exploring that really cool piece of land. This is a cool little promenade area. There's fishermen, there's boats, there's cool restaurants and bars. So it's a neat area, but we're gonna head to the harbor and check it out now. We're gonna see the Baltic Sea for the first time, people. As we made our way towards the Baltic Sea, we passed by the Old Mill Hotel and a drawbridge that swings open for pedestrians. Then we even passed by the creepy black ghost statue. Cool, I'm not sure what the story behind it is. Oh no! Spooky ghost! <laughs> it wasn't long before the winds really started picking up. So we headed back along the Danis River towards one of the most iconic sites in all of Klaipeda, the Meridian. This beautiful restored wooden sailing ship was once used as a training vessel during the 1950s and 60s but today it's home to a nice restaurant and sits moored on the south bank of the Danis. Good morning guys. Yesterday we pretty much got rained out for the last of our exploring, but now today we're out again. We have some beautiful weather to be exploring Klaipeda again. Yeah, yesterday I think we kind of focused more on seeing like the main sites and stuff. Today will be a little bit more culinary focused and we're going to start with the Sanasas Sturgis, which I believe is Lithuanian for Old Bazaar. And we're heading there now. Okay, so this market is pretty cool. It looks like in the front they have like a lot of like raw meats and stuff for sale. They have a small bakery. There's a few places that are selling like breads and stuff, but uh, we're in the back area now, which is the prettiest with all the flowers. And not gonna lie, front end sale is a little funky because there's so much raw meat there, but overall cool spot to check out. And I think we'll probably end up getting a pastry or something because that bakery looks so good. When we were in the market, we spent one euro total to pick up these little pastries. I got mine and it's a little like croissant looking thing and it's like a spinach wrap almost. And mine is shaped like a triangle and that's about all I know about it. But there's something sticky on it which I think is jam. So let's dig in and try these. Oh my God. 
Mine's nice and buttery like a croissant. Very tasty, didn't get any of the spinach in that bite, which is good. No one ever wants too much spinach. I think mine has some sort of a jelly in it, but it's like a thin jelly and it almost tastes like a mixture of jelly and honey, but it's really freaking good. found this super cool restaurant and it's like right here in the heart of Old Town kind of tucked back away on a little side street but the inside is really nice like they have some fancy reserved tables with like big candelabras on them and then there's more casual booths to eat in too but just kind of looking through the menu now they've got said everything from chicken fingers to roasted pork necks so I think this is gonna be a great place to have some lunch. What do you think? First the herring? I think you gotta start with the herring. Let's start with the herring. Okay. It looks like they have some good sauce for it, so let me try that. Maybe get an onion to go with it. Good idea. Here we go. Okay. Herring, let's do this. It's very fishy. It's like good, but very fishy. Very intense. Yeah. Mm. Good. I love all the potato pancakes that they have in Lithuania. They are so good. They're really good. And whatever this little cottage cheese sauce is that comes with it, that's really nice too. All right, and the last thing to try, what are these again? Dumplings? Well, veggie fried vegetable dumplings. All right, give her a try. All right, here we go. both agree it was like a really cool spot for drinking food was pretty good but recommend it for a bar more than the food i think for sure so now we're gonna head back to our airbnb and hang out for a little bit but don't worry because we'll be coming back out later tonight and we'll take you guys to a bar with us All right guys, welcome back. It is now evening here in Klaipeda and we bundled up because it's a chilly night outside. And after exploring all day, I think the only thing that's left on the agenda is to go grab a drink at a local bar. Yeah, we picked out a really cool spot that looks pretty awesome. It's right in the heart of Old Town and it's chilly tonight, so I'm looking forward to having some alcohol, <laughs> if only to warm me up. Well guys, that bar was super cool. They were playing some good old American rock and roll. The inside was so our style, like just kind of a laid back place to hang out, have a beer and enjoy your night. Now we're heading back to the Airbnb and we picked up some necessities from the local store. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and Gab's taking great care of them. Anyways guys, it has been a really cool few days here in Klaipeda and we can't wait to explore the Coronian spit in our next video. But thank you very much for coming along with us these past few days. We hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe to this video, share it with your friends and family, and we'll see you guys next time. If you like chips, hit subscribe. This is our ideal night on a Friday day. Oh, Want some creamy forest mushroom flavored chips? <laughs> no. no. Do you want some fromage? Fromage sounds pretty good. Or tomato. Um, not tomato. Let's keep going. <laughs> you got great moves, honey. Thank you. How was that vodka? Delicious. <laughs> Strong.